Hey guys, Target Cycling FPV, and we're getting ready to do an RMA video. I need to log into my PC real quick, so give me one second here. I just restarted it, so apologize. Give me one second to do that. Oops. Holy cow. Uh, let me see. Uh, nope. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't know my password. It's going to be a minute. Uh, Oh, Caps is on, that's right. Yes. All right. So we're going to log in, and then we're going to go check this out. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Apparently, there's something with the... Uh, let me do a screen share here. Uh, it's it's with the um, uh, flight controller and something with an update. Let's just go ahead and uh, open it up. Let's see what we got. Okay, put that aside. And... What the issue is, is that it, I was told that when it is HDLRC, I believe it's an S7 20 by 20. Let me see here, and I believe this is the one. Yeah, this is the DJI version right here, okay? So he says that when he plugs it into the um, beta flight, uh, he did an update, and ever since then it hasn't been working right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, arrange this here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can put the computer screen up here as well. And we'll do some video of this and see what we find, okay? So here we go. Um, let's see, there is our computer display. So we'll use a split screen here and we'll do one, two, do it like that. All right, so let's go ahead and open beta flight. Okay, there it is. So first thing is, let's plug it in. Okay. Looks like the board is bricked, so hold on, let me hit the reboot, yeah. Uh, he did want the uh, camera, so do you want me to go make it available on the site? There we go, so we're gonna reboot this now, and we're gonna go into DFU mode and reload it. What's that? What camera? Yeah, so they have to buy it. You need to click for just now, sell after, you know, continue to sell. Okay. He has to buy it quickly and then turn that off. All right. Okay, so we're in DFU mode now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and get our firmware. Okay, and uh, I just got done working on a board like this. So I'm going to pull mine real quickly. I'm going to mimic it. Even though this doesn't have the DJI setup, we're going to open this so that we can see, because this is this is the same board, just uh, not the DJI setup. So let's go ahead and connect. And we're going to go to our version here. And we're going to do the exact same version. And that is going to be the F722. I've got mine that's 4.1.5. There's been quite a few updates since then, but that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and put this back. I don't think it'll remain in DFU mode. Uh, no. So we're going to hold the boot button down. Plug this in. Uh, we should see it going into DFU mode here in a second. Uh oh, hold on. There we go. DFU mode. I'm going to update the firmware. It might even be the last firmware I used. I can't remember. Right, let's just see. Let's see what it pops you up. There it is. And so we're going to go with the 4.2.4. We'll do a full chip erase. Let's flash. Okay, let me get my coffee. Yeah, did pretty good. I mean, everything looks good. I happen to have an ESC I'm also using that would plug into this, so we can, <coughs> we can easily test this, and this shouldn't be a problem at all. <coughs> okay, here we go. All right, so let's connect. It should ask us to apply custom defaults, and it did. 
So now we're going to go back and we're going to connect again. Wait for it to reboot here real quickly. And I guess I can get this ready at the same time. Let me unplug it. So that's not working. So let's try this again, and this time let's drop the firmware down. There's clearly something with the new firmware, it's not able to go, so let's just see if we can find another one. So this is the, let's do the, uh, I don't believe they have a second version. Nope, they don't. Uh, let me make sure this is gonna be the right. That's right, so 2722, let's go to 4.1.5, like what I'm using. Let's see if we can get that to go. Okay, let's connect, apply custom defaults. Let's see if we can get this to come off of the other version then. There we go, it's rebooted now. And it's working perfect, okay? But what we do know, or what we can see then, if that's the case, Let's just go ahead and disconnect this and let's do another update to the firmware. Uh, I'm gonna do this same, I'm gonna go to the 4.2.4 again uh, and I'm gonna load it and I'll flash it. Because this is something new, I didn't know this was a problem. So if it turns out to be a problem, then, <coughs> <coughs> then we'll know. There's an issue there that needs to be corrected. All right, here we go. It says it's connect, let's connect. Let's apply the custom defaults. And maybe we'll just let this sit here a bit. I, I, I wanna see here what happens. I'm just gonna let it kind of sit on its own for a second. And then if nothing happens, we'll go ahead and turn it off and reboot it. There it goes, turns out. It just takes a while to boot up. Connect, okay, reset. All right, <clears throat> so let's go ahead now and I'm gonna take one of my ESCs here that I just got done using on one of the drones I built. I'm gonna solder one of my motors to it and we're gonna see if we can get some tone out of this. Of course I have this in the way, so let me just try to work around this here. Now, I've got to get power to it, which I can do. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to unplug it. <coughs> bless you. Excuse me. Bless you, bless you. Thank you. Uh, let me go ahead and plug this in. And then let me get some power here to the uh, ESC.
safely do this. I just need to make sure that I have a good grip on this. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, plug in our USB. Wait for the computer to kick in. Okay, I heard the uh, motor initialize. I heard the ESC initialize, so let's just see if we can see it. And there we go. We have movement, okay? So I think the biggest issue here Let's go to our configuration tab real quickly. It's set, everything's set fine. I mean, everything looks good here. I don't see a problem with that at all. Uh, you know, you wanna load your defaults back, but system's testing good. So, um, and I believe if we can, we can go one step further and actually just go to our, uh, our um, the L-Heli. Now mine's gonna be, it's gonna give me an error. No, I don't wanna download it, just leave me alone. And let's just go to read the setup. And it does read them all, and this is great. So there's, I don't see anything wrong with the flight controller except it just takes a long time to boot up, but it uh, it seems to be fine, uh, and is working fine, and it's spinning the motors fine. So I don't see any problem there. So hopefully that helps, guys. Um, I will test the rest of the motors anyway. Uh, I'll put it on the rest of the uh, channels, but that should be it. Um, the complaint was that, the concern was that you couldn't hear any of the tone startup or anything else, and I think what happened was it just got bricked. We've repaired that now, and you're good to go. Okay, if you have any questions, please, as always, use our Facebook group so you can go to our website. Um, and then follow us on Facebook if you don't mind. And of course, always please help us. Show your support by just uh, subscribing to our channel and letting other people know how to do it too, okay? All right, guys, other than that, God bless. Be safe, spend time with your family. You don't know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it with them. And we will talk to you soon.